back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine and welcome. Um, today's video is going to be a first impressions on the Rare Beauty that is sold at Sephora. This brand is by Selena Gomez and I'm super excited to try this out. Um, I did pick up a few things, so I did get the foundation and the concealer and a lip cream. And then I also have a blush. And um, it did come with samples. I did get a sample of her primer here. But as you guys may know, her primer is illuminating. And now that is not something that I use because I am oily. So I figured I'd do like a different twist on this first impressions. I know realistically I would not buy an illuminating primer and use that every day with this foundation. What I would do is, if I like this foundation, use it with products that I know I love that work for me. So some of like my favorite primers are the Smashbox The Photo Finish for oil and shine control. Or I also use the Too Faced Peach and... Oh, Primed and Peachy. So those two I know for a fact. They hold every foundation down for me from drugstore to um, high-end. They work with every foundation. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use one of those primers today with this foundation because I plan on using this on an everyday basis. So I'm going to incorporate things that I do use on an everyday basis. And I feel like it should hold up with this foundation um, just like it does with every other one of my foundations. So we're gonna do that today. And then um, I wanna test the foundation with a brush on one half of my face and then with a sponge on the other half of my face. Just to see the difference in the coverage and stuff. So um, I already moisturized my face. I used the Pharmacy Daily Greens, my favorite. And then now I'm gonna go in with my primer. I think I'm gonna use the Too Faced one because it smells so good. It smells like peaches. I already did my eye makeup because she doesn't have eye makeup. Her eyeliner, I did not pick up her eyeliner. Um, so that is not what I have on my eyes today. I am using her complexion products today. Okay, and so now that my face is primed, we're going to go ahead and dive into the foundation. Uh, the shade I picked up was 290N, which looks like this. And um, the description of the foundation says um, that it feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow. So, I'm super excited to try it out. Oh my gosh, it like... It looks like it leaks a little bit, like it's super liquidy. It's already like all over the cap. And I haven't opened it before. I wonder if all of them are like that or if, I don't know. container looks like that on the inside so even when you pull it out I wasn't dipping all the way you just like barely dip at the top and there's still a lot of um, product there so I'm going to do the first half of my face with a foundation brush this is the 56 Sephora collection um, foundation brush so I'm gonna go ahead and use this side is really nice I would say it's like medium coverage for the amount that I put on um, you guys saw how much I put on so I feel like that is it's giving me medium coverage I feel like it would be buildable to full coverage 
and it doesn't feel heavy like it doesn't feel thick it's really like lightweight I feel like it's um the similar consistency as the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation that comes in a dropper that one is really liquidy also um this one just has more coverage in it I feel but they're very similar Okay, and then now I'm gonna go in with a sponge on the other side. I feel like the side with the sponge is more so like mattifying it as opposed to this side it looks a little bit more glowy a little bit more like dewy this side not as much it's still not a super matte finish but i think i would prefer the side with the sponge just because i am oily i do not want to have that excess shine Yeah, so I feel like the coverage is the same. It's just the finish. I feel like the finish on this side just looks a little bit more mattified than this side. You could see this shine right here. I'm going to go ahead and just go over it to kind of just make it all even. But it is very, um, it's very pretty. I actually really like the way it looks on my skin, the way it's sitting on my skin. Even though I use a mattifying pore filling primer, it's not super matte, which I feel like a lot of my foundations are. So I feel like this might be a good pick for me and my skin. I will um, show clips throughout the day of how it wears on my skin. Um, so you can look forward to those a little bit later in the video. Okay, now that we're done with foundation, I'm gonna move on into my concealer. The concealer shade I chose is 280N. Again, into comparison, I got 290N, so I did go a whole shade lighter for my concealer as opposed to my foundation. Um, and then the description on this says, it's a moisturizing, buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into skin for undetectable, cake-free coverage. So that sounds promising. And then this applicator is diagonal. It's kind of like a triangle, actually, if you could see that. So I feel like that's good to get right there. And we're gonna go ahead and just blend that out. really nice coverage I have really dark under eyes um, and I feel like this is not looking cakey under my eyes but that it is um, it is good coverage and I like that it's not super drying you have time to blend it doesn't dry super fast similar to like the Tarte Shape Tape that dries so fast the ALF concealers dry so fast so you have to work really quick this one, it doesn't dry fast, so you have a lot of time to get to blending. You don't have to feel brushed, which I enjoy because sometimes you need that extra time. All right, and so now I'm going to go ahead and try the cream blush. This is in the shade Grace. Um, it's a very rosy pink color. I am not a blush person. I actually really do not like the way blush looks on me. But I do want to try out the formula. I'm going to just go ahead and apply like that much there. Um, this has a similar applicator. It just looks more rounded at the tip rather than like triangular. So that is an applicator for that one. This looks so pigmented. Like I'm really scared. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to look like a clown. I feel like I'm going to mess it up. I'll just put a little bit and then I 
am I taking the least amount possible because I already know I already know I always overdo it Can you see it? It is pretty and it's pigmented. A little bit goes a very long way. I did dip in here first and then I like dabbed excess here and then I went on my face because my cat wants to come in. My cat wants to come in. Oh my God, he's gonna burn my jacket. He didn't burn the jacket, it's okay. Um. So yeah, that's the blush. I mean, it's pretty, it's super pigmented. And I feel like people that enjoy blush, that's what you look for, right? You look for the color payoff, um, that it wears long, which I'm sure it will because it is a cream. Creams usually wear a lot longer than powders. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my setting powder that I normally use. Um, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent in Honey. I'm going to go ahead and just set here and my T-zone and I'll be right back. Okay, and so now that I have set, um, I am gonna go ahead and just do a little bronze, very slight contour, and I'll finish the rest of my makeup. I do still have the um, lip cream to try out, so I'm going to do that right after. have my face pretty much done I'm going to um, just go ahead and take off my lip balm and we are going to use the um, the lip souffle matte lip cream I picked up the shade brave comes in like this orangey packaging and this color it kind of just reminds me of fall time like a fall color very um, like brick orangey red so we're gonna go ahead and try this out And the applicator here is very flat on both ends. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. It's very moussey. on camera it's not showing but this is one of those lipsticks that you try to go over and it takes it off rather than going over it correctly kind of like an expo erase marker like when the teacher would write on the whiteboard in writing if you try to go over it you're gonna take off what you just wrote so I feel like that is very similar to this Um, like one layer of it it does feel very comfortable but it's not it's not a liquid lipstick it doesn't claim to be so you know it does say it is a whipped lip cream that delivers comfortable one stroke color with a vivid velvety finish it is very velvety it is very soft it is like a mousse texture so I'm gonna go ahead and just add on my lashes um, spray my face with the Urban Decay setting spray because that is how I always finish off my makeup to just keep it locked in place and I'll check back in but so far I do love the product hey guys and welcome back um so this is my check-in it is 4 30 so I've had my makeup on for more than four hours now and it has held up really nicely I am getting a little bit oily right here which is normal um that usually does happen to me I went to go have sushi so um, my lipstick did come off. It was not a lip stain or a liquid lipstick or anything like that. It was more of like a moussey um, lipstick that was easily removable. So that definitely came off and I just didn't reapply it. Um, but my blush is still there. My blush is still on my face here. So that stood really nicely. Um, I'm going to do one more check-in with you guys at nighttime before I take off my makeup. But so far, 
it is holding up really nicely and I do like the finish of it and yeah I'll see you guys in a little bit hey you guys so this is the final check-in it is now 8 30 which is about time for me to remove my makeup so I just wanted to come on here to give you my final thoughts show you the final result of what the makeup looks like after a full day of wearing it um you can see my oils peeking through a little bit here and a little bit has come off on my nose because I was wearing a face mask earlier today. Um, but I feel like overall the foundation has sat very nicely on my skin. So as a concealer, it does not look cakey. The blush is still visible for those of you that were um, wondering about blush. I feel like it is a great product. Um, as far as the lip product, unfortunately, that just wasn't for me. I am more so into matte liquid lipsticks that I know will not transfer and that product just wasn't it for me but um, the shades are very beautiful and I hope that this video was very helpful for you guys I hope that you know you got something out of it hopefully you learned that you know you don't have to use all of the products in her line to be satisfied with them I didn't use the illuminating primer with it which is meant to go with it I will use my own primer and sometimes certain things in a line of beauty is not going to work out for you but there are no rules in makeup you could totally mix and match different brands different products which is the beauty of it and it makes it so much fun so interesting that way hopefully these things can work for you in the way that you incorporate them in your routine so with that being said i hope you guys have a great day if you like this video enjoyed this video learned something from this video please like and subscribe down below Leave a comment on your thoughts and I'll see you guys next time.